G'day guys, how you doing? And have you ever wondered if you can photograph the Milky Way handheld? Well tonight, we're going to give that a crack. And to join me, I have the Nikon 50mm f1.2 S Z lens connected to my Astro Modded Z7. So uh, let's get started. Well, here we are underneath some beautiful dark skies. I do have some cloud around me, but hopefully that holds off. Now, tonight's challenge is to shoot the Milky Way handheld, and it's not something you really hear too much of. But the challenge is really going to be, can it be done, and how well do those images turn out? Now, this isn't exactly the most affordable kit by any means. I mean, to do this, you need big aperture lenses, and the 50mm 1.2S is the largest aperture lens that I was able to get my hands on, and this is my own personal uh, personal lens. Unfortunately, the Nikon knocked f 0.95, costs way too much money, and uh, I can't afford that. So, 51.2s it is. Now, with that, I've got it attached to the Nikon Z7. Now, the Z7 can handle high ISOs, and that's what we're going to be shooting at. We're going to be shooting at really high ISOs, so more than likely around ISO 10,000. Now it is astro modified, um, so there are a little, little bit of a challenge with that, and that's a, a custom white balance setting that I've already um, set quite some time ago. Let's get started. So right above me, we have the Milky Way. And let me tell you, just by looking through this lens, I can see a lot more than what I, uh, I, could, I could have ever. Um, Looking through a viewfinder of a uh, viewfinder of a camera and a lens. Now this is a mirrorless camera, so um, obviously I'm sort of seeing what the sensor's seeing. But at f 1.2, I say 800, and I do have it at a uh, one second exposure right now. I'm just amazed at what I can see. But I'm going to bump this ISO up to 10,000, well 6,400 at the moment. And I just love it. I mean, I can actually even see the Lagoon Nebula and some star clusters and and part of the Milky Way or that um, uh, that golden brown in the core of the Milky Way that you see. I can actually start to see that through the lens. That is absolutely remarkable. Now, the challenge of this is getting good quality stars and I'm doing this handheld so I'm going to be using the Nikon inbuilt image stabilization to help me out as much as I can so what I'm going to do is just go into my settings there it is and I'm going to turn on my vibration reduction turn that on so that's that's going to help me out with uh, increasing those stops of, of light and, uh, and that way I can go to maybe a half a second um, exposure handheld and get some decent stars. The other thing I'm going to change is the uh, shooting mode. So at the moment I've got it on single frame. I'm going to put it on continuous mode. And I think we are ready to try and shoot the Milky Way handheld. Now, just to recap on what I've done, I've got a custom white balance setting. I'm gonna be using an ISO of 10,000. I'm gonna try and push for about a half second exposure. And I've got the Nikon in-camera image stabilization or image reduction turned on. F1.2, let's go. Now, where is that lagoon again? Okay, so just having a quick look at that image, you can see it is quite dark. And for some reason I shot at f1.2 
2.8. So let's try that again, shall we? Ah, uh, there's the lagoon. Now, one of the things I'm going to have to do is steady my breathing. Try and tuck myself in a little bit, some support. And I'm going to fire off a burst round of images to try and give me the best chance I can at some clear, nice, streak-free stars. So here we go. All right, let's see how these images turned out. I have to admit, yeah, they're a tad bit blurry, um, slightly out of focus. So I'm going to turn on the autofocus and I'm going to see if we can autofocus first. All right, so it's it's auto focused in on the stars there, and I think it's done a pretty good job. So let's try this again. F one point two. Let's change that. F one point two half a second. ISO. Let's go ISO twelve thousand eight hundred. Let's really push it here. There's the lagoon. Just trying to set myself up a little bit. Here we go. Oh, that's that's difficult. Half a second exposure, trying to get that. And uh, <laughs> I do have some really cool effects, star trails from some of the, the movement I've had, but let's see. How do we go? Wow. Um, that looks so cool. I've, I never thought in my life I'd be able to hand shoot, handheld shoot the Milky Way. This is so awesome. Um, what I'm going to do is, because I'm shooting such high ISO, I'm going to uh, fire off some more images to stack. And I'm using the lagoon, the lagoon nebula as the uh, as my central part of the image. Tell you what, this is quite tricky. Now, I don't know what that was, but something just went flew straight into the back of me and made me jump. All right, let's have a look. You can definitely tell when I jumped. Um, cool, so we've got some, uh, some pretty cool images of the core there with the lagoon right in the middle. Now, I am going to look for the star Antares because those who uh, shoot Astro know just what that star in Tari's means for some images. And it's probably one of the favorite areas I love to go photograph because it's got so much color in it. Um, I'm not gonna pronounce the name of the region because I just, I just can't. <laughs> Rio or Fuki, maybe? Let me know in the comments below if I got that right. Anyway, handheld, let's give this a go too. So where's Antares? There it is. Right at the top. That's still again half second exposure. I say twelve thousand eight hundred or one point two. Oof. 
tell you what. It's almost like uh, dithering in a way. If you shoot deep space astrophotography, you'll know exactly what dithering means. Um, kind of doing a little, a little bit of that here. Now, it is quite uh, uh, quite difficult, i tell you that right now, especially going straight up. Um, it would be a lot easier if it was a bit more on the horizon. I could tuck myself right in and reduce the amount of um, vibration or movement I've got in these images. What I'm going to do... So I'm going to shoot on continuous high. And I'm going to change the vibration reduction to sport. Now, I don't know too much about the vibration reduction. I don't know the difference between the normal and the sport or anything like that. I'm an astrophotographer. Normally, all that is all turned off, and we're using mounts and sturdy um, equipment to uh, keep everything nice and still, or trackers. So uh, let's see if that makes a difference. Wow, what a difference that actually made. Switching to the sport mode, I was able to actually see every shot straight in between. So um, I guess that's what they they mean by maybe uh, the uh, blanking out between frames or, or whatever. I didn't get any of that. So every time I shot an image, I could see it right there. So I could see Antares just sitting right there in the, in the image that I'd just taken real quickly. And I was able to try and keep the uh, the camera on that target. Now this is so cool. I've never thought I could shoot Astro handheld and I'm really excited to see what these stacked images look like. Um, what I'm going to do now is I know the Southern Cross is over here. I think Eda Carina is just over here somewhere. So let's see if I can find that. All right, I think I found Eda Carina Nebula. Let's give this a crack and see how we go. Exactly the same settings. 1.2, I say 12,800 half second exposure. Deep breath in. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a deep breath in and I'm going to slowly exhale when I photograph. So here we go. I can't believe it. I just cannot believe it. This has changed the way <laughs> you can shoot astrophotography. Um, wow. You can shoot handheld. You can shoot the Milky Way, the stars, everything handheld now with a Nikon 50mm f1.2 s Z lens and your Nikon Z camera. Um, I really hope they end up bringing out some more f1.2 glass because could you could you just imagine shooting a nightscape at say 35 mil or 20 millimeters at f1.2? Imagine doing that handheld. I tell you what, if they ever come out with a lens like that, I'm going to give it a crack. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different from me. Um, I'll be sharing all the images I've taken in just one moment. But uh, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please uh, check out some of my other videos and maybe subscribe. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me. So enjoy the videos I've taken, handheld photos that I've taken. And until next time, take it easy. See you.